Hello everybody. Here we are, back from our holiday, and we are ready for a LW500 latch bar daily exercise. So let's get started. We're working with our basic latch bar with straps attached. We are getting ready to conduct sit-ups and crunches. So let's get started. And I hope you didn't abuse yourself too badly during the holiday because now we got to get off whatever we put on. Yep, we got to get off whatever we put on. So if you abused yourself too badly, then you have to work a bit harder. That's what it boils down to. So let's not be crying about it. Let's do something about it. It's not going to go anywhere if you don't address it. It's just like anything else. Just like those bills. Bills don't go away unless you pay the bill. So we're trying to pay the bill here. You know, we can relate to this a workout in so many different ways. And it all boils down to trying to contribute in a good way to our health. That's what we're trying to do. So we're going to take this sit on, lay on latch bar here. And we're going to bring it down right below our shoulder blades. How about that? So we just used the lay on, sit on latch bar with the upper round deluxe bar. As I indicate, they're all interchangeable. So you can use one item with another item, even if the size does not match. So we'll go from our press over to the other side where we're going to do I would pull up crunch from a lying position. We attack the abs. As I remind you, the abs are the most difficult part of your body. And it is the part that receives all of the calories. So it only makes sense to work on part of your body 
that is bearing all of the calories. Or it intakes all the calories. You bear all the calories all over. But mainly it starts in your abdomen. So we want to attack the abdomen so that we can get it under control. That's what we're trying to do here. So let's get started. Our strap assembly this time is connected to a deluxe flat latch bar, which is mounted to the wall. And we have it mounted in three positions. One here, one here, and one above. As we have them here, we can attach various different items to our stationary mounted wall board. It has the basic latch bars and deluxe latch bars. This is the deluxe, this is the basic. So you can attach all different types of items so that you can conduct different exercise. Here, we have a deluxe latch bar attached with tubular resistance bands, and we're going to conduct the pull-down crunch. Get yourself in position. Pull the bar down, and then bend with your abs. three days off, you can feel it, getting back into it, you know, means a lot, but you have to keep your mind prepared so that you can be ready to get started back, because this is not a joke. That was our side crunch. Our side crunch is combined with our front crunch. The front crunch speaks for itself and so should the side crunch. It's all part of your abdomen. And your abdomen just doesn't have a front. The abdomen has sides also. So you have muscles over here too that you also want to work with. And doing a side crunch gets that accomplished.
front pull down, works on your lats up here, and also your abdomen. Doesn't really do a lot for your biceps, but we'll get into that too. Because we're getting ready to do some moving around to the other side, where we have more opportunities. We're gonna pull on a mat. Back a little out of the way. We're gonna throw some elevators on the floor and then we'll get our deluxe flash bar. Place it right on top. Get in position for a push up. Do a few push-ups. Now we're gonna come over to our other wall board. And we're gonna grab Our hand grips. The hand grips are attached to the basic latch bar, also with tubular resistance bands. We basically have all the wall boards set up the same. They all have three deluxe flat latch bars with two side bars, basic. We have pictured the red and gray the blue and gray, and on the opposite side, we have a green and gray. Upstairs, we have a brown and gray, and a white and gray. And in the other room, we have a total wood finish. So there are various ways that you can decorate your own latch bar, latch bar wall board in order to accommodate the exercise that you do, that you like to do, because our system can be mounted any way you like, whether it's horizontal, vertical, diagonal, mounted on the ceiling, mounted on the floor, mounted on the wall. Wherever you'd like to mount it, I'm sure the system will accommodate you as long as you make sure you are anchoring it properly, securely. So we're going to turn our bench in this direction. And we're going to grab from the floor 
another pressing bar. So we're going to step inside so that now we have the bar in front of us. And we're going to lift it up so that we can conduct another type of press. We're sitting this time, previously we were lying and conducting a press. This one has a whole lot more tension. So this one has tubular, tubular resistance bands and they are extreme resistance bands. So the more you stretch any resistance band, the more resistance it will have. So this one is attached to the lower deluxe latch bar on both sides. So whatever the regular rating is for this resistance band, let's say it's 75. When you double it, now it becomes 150. The same on the other side. So you have quite a bit of tension on these resistance bands when you are conducting your press. Obviously it's not 300 pounds because I can't lift 300 pounds, but it is a substantial amount of tension pulling back. And I am positive that it's more than 100 pounds of tension. So what we've done with regular resistance bands is that we've converted the whole workout system into a power resistance band workout. Now your resistance bands are only, they will only have as much tension as you put on as a load because you don't have to use them in the same mannerism, and you can use much lighter resistance bands. So the, the difficulty level is always determined by you. These yellow resistance bands here are very, very light. They're about 20 to 25 pounds of tension until you start looping them. Once you start looping them, then the resistance level will change. So now, we're gonna just take them, we're gonna put ankle straps on. Just another type of strap, just to conduct an exercise so that you can see more of the opportunities that can be achieved by using the latch bar attachment system. I'm sitting on the bench. I'm pulling, I have tension now on my legs, on, on the ankle strap. And now all I have to do is just move my leg back and forth. You see how comfortable I am? But I'm actually getting a good exercise on my leg. If you feel your leg while you're doing this, you can feel your thigh muscles. <laughs> That's right. You can feel your thigh muscles tightening up on the top. And now they're starting to burn. So I'll stop this leg and I'll do the other leg. 
Now you can do both legs at the same time, depending how versatile you are. So don't try it if you're not pretty versatile, okay? But you can put your hands behind you and kick both your legs out at the same time. It is definitely more challenging like that, but you can do it. Just be careful. You can even lean against the wall while you're doing it. So that's why we call it a band and strap attachment system, which of course we can also use chains with it just as well. And as you can see, we don't have to disconnect what we're using. As long as we keep it uniform, each one of these latch bars turn into utility bars so that you can connect many different pieces of equipment to work on. So now we have hand grips attached to another type of flat bar, flat resistance band. This resistance band is a bit heavier than the yellow resistance band. This is the next step up. Keep in mind, we have the resistance band doubled. So the tension level has increased. Now just doing what we just did, we just did a number of exercises that all appeared to be for our arms, but at the same time, we were working our back muscles, we were working our stomach muscles, we were working combination groups of muscles just by doing one exercise because when you're using this system, you normally impact more than one muscle group. So that's another advantage of using the latch bar attacking system. Now when you're standing on the bars, you have four resistance bands attached to this one flat bar and also to the upper round bar. You can add more if you like, or you can subtract some if you like. It's up to your desire. I like to continue to emphasize that because I don't want you to be scared away but by the amount that you see on here while I'm doing the exercise. 
You don't have to put this many. You can put one on there if you want to. That is our semi squat and pull exercise. Once you're finished with these pre set up equipment, you can take it and hang it back up on your last bar hangers. Nice and neat. And there is another method that we have also. You can carry these out anywhere you want to. This will fit into your backpack. That's right. The deluxe last bar that's 32 inches long will fit into a larger bag, shoulder bag. It'll fit into a baseball type shoulder bag. And you can take them, take your units anywhere you want to because the system is totally portable, just as well as it can be stationary. But only the mounted parts are stationary. Everything else that you attach to it is portable. See, on this basic latch bar, we only, we're only using one latch. But we have two types of resistance bands here. We have not only the flat one, but we have a tubular one, which is an extreme setup. You do not have to have it so that it's set up as an extreme to give you a power band setup you can make it much lesser. But you can see with the system what you're able to do. You're able to generate more force than you would be able to generate just naturally by holding the resistance band in your hand. You need leverage. And you don't only need leverage on the top you need it on the bottom also, so that you have a platform in order to conduct your exercise. All these items are very, very important to being able to conduct your exercise as safe as possible. Now we have the same thing set up here, but now it's set up on two hand grips. Chest expansion. Bow and arrow. Remember to try and keep it balanced. Whatever you do with one hand, try and do with the other. That's right, you don't want to have any mercy. 
we're going to try and do everything the same. Now we have our 44 inch squat, press, curl, last bar. And you can do all of the above with this one session. You can start off with whatever you like, with curls if you want. Then you can move into your squats. On into a press. And then you're all tired out. <laughs> That's the idea of it. When you work out, when you exercise, you're supposed to get tired. If you don't get tired, then you're not doing it right. So let's get tired. Let's do that body maintenance that we're supposed to do in order to generate good health. If you do that daily, you will generate good health. What will you do? A lot of things if you do it with aggression. You want to make sure everything you do, you do it aggressively. Not to the point that you injure yourself, but that means putting an effort into it. That's all that means. If you put an effort into it, you'll get positive results out of it. So, what does your workout do? It can, one, lower your blood pressure. That's right. It can, two, lower your cholesterol. That's right. Believe it or not, it can also lower your A1C levels. So if you are borderline, it may bring it down so that you're not more closely to being diabetic. So we want to make sure that that number stays below, if we can, 6.5, to be on the good side, because once we're at seven, they're going to start giving us medication. So you don't want to be on that side. Once your blood pressure is over 140, the top number or the bottom number is over 90. If it stays that way, the doctor is going to give you medication. Your cholesterol. Your overall cholesterol is what the doctor is usually concerned about your good cholesterol. And you want to make sure it stays below 150. Combined. Good and bad. Because once it gets over that 150 marker, we're in danger. So we want to make sure it stays below all these numbers. We work on it by doing exercise and by dieting. We can't leave dieting out. 
It's extremely, extremely important to exercising. It's just like exercising. Only it's making sure that we take care of what we put into our calorie tank. That's what it is. It's like your gas tank of your car, but it's called a calorie tank. But it does provide fuel, just like gasoline provides fuel for a car. So we need fuel just as well. We just don't want to, let's say, overdo it. Because once we do, it just means basically we're going in the wrong direction. And we got to work harder. And we got to straighten some things out. Because... It's really depressing when you're working so hard and you don't see any results. The results don't come overnight. So it only means we have to work a little harder at what we are doing. So if we're doing something that's wrong, that's what we have to work harder on. Not necessarily is it the workout, it could be what we're eating or drinking. You also have to be aware of all the enticing things that are placed in front of us. We have to administer self-control. All the TV ads with the food that you see, the snacks, it's hard. But we have to discipline ourselves not to go off on the deep end. It's only going to hurt us in the long run. So be careful. Nighttime snacks, beers and whatnot, watching TV. It'll all get the best of you. We're all guilty of it. That's how I know. Because I'm no different. However, I try to discipline myself, and it's not easy. So, if we are being conscientious of our issues, it means we will try harder. Sometimes we will succeed, sometimes we won't. Some days are tougher than others. And I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. Some days are more tough than others. So you just got to deal with it as best you can.
Just don't say you can't do it and don't. Say you can do it. And trust and believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. That's why you have to trust and believe that you can do it. It's because you can. You have to discipline yourself, motivate yourself, and trust that you can do it. Stay at it. Don't quit. Don't give up. Once you do that, then you don't have a chance. Give yourself a chance. Don't give yourself a chance, you can forget about doing it at all. So make sure you maintain that in your mind. Get rid of that word, I can't, and say, I can. Because you can. A lot of things we need to admit to that we can do to help ourselves. And we need to do it. We need to be positive. If you don't be positive, you never do anything. Like they always say, you have to have a positive approach to doing anything, no matter what it is, if you intend on conquering it. If you have a positive approach, it makes things easier to do. If you have a negative approach, things become more difficult. That's just the way it is. So let's be positive and let's get it done. Hard work comes in many, many different ways. Hard work can be physical. Hard work can be mental. mental. And they'll both take a toll on you. Your mental work will not address your physical attributes. The only way to address your physical attributes 
is to do physical things. Your mind, in order to expand it, we need to do things to expand our mind. Learning is one of those things. Speaking is one of those things. It's called exercising what you have in your brain. If you do not exercise your brain, once again, you lose what you have. You will forget. And we all forget things that we do not use often. I'll give you a good example. There was a time in my growing up days where we had to share telephone lines. <laughs> How about that? You could pick your telephone up and listen to someone else's conversation that wasn't even in your home. It's called party lines. Most of you haven't ever heard of party lines or didn't experience it because you're too young. Some of you only know cell phones. Years ago, we had to remember every one of our friends' telephone numbers or we would have a telephone book with us. Most of the time we remembered, we'd be using our mind. Today, we don't remember numbers because our cell phone remembers all the numbers for us. So that's part of our mind activity that has been taken away from us. So we have to get it back somehow. We have to use our minds in other ways. That's right, otherwise your mind will not be exercised. You have to continue to feed your mind with information also in order for your mind, your brain, to have activity. It's going to have activity, but it might be useless. Some of us have to work to make sure that our mind does what it's supposed to. I'm one of those persons. Nothing comes natural. So we have to apply ourselves to make sure that we get out what we put in, return on our investment, whether we put money into it or not. We're looking for a return on this investment. Yes, I put money into it. You would have to put money into it also, but not a lot but you would be looking for a return on your investment and the only way to attain it is to put something into it. It's not gonna happen if you don't put anything into it. So that's what I mean. You never get enough something for nothing. You must apply yourself one way or another. So now, we have resistance bands at their full length, and we're going to do a job in place. So we're going to extend ourselves out so that we can have some tension on the resistance band, and we're going to start jogging. Jogging in place. Jog in place for a minute or so, however much you feel you can do. You can do it faster, you can do it slower, however you want to do it, just do it. Feel those calf muscles tightening up down there. You should be running on your ball of your feet. They say on your toes, but it's the ball of your feet. 
Imagine trying to run on your toes, literally. So we're gonna slowly move back. We're gonna move back before you stop to make sure you don't jerk yourself and fall. Hmm. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh yeah, we're going to go back and do some more push-ups. Oh yeah. But we're coming, we're winding down. But we just want to make sure we get a good workout today. The day after coming back from a holiday weekend. You know, on those holiday weekends, we indulge a lot. And now even more so because we've been so cooped up in our homes. Man, that barbecue food tasted real good, didn't it? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The rain almost ruined us though. Yeah, the rain almost gave us a complete washout. But on Memorial Day, it gave us an opportunity to barbecue some food. And it was a beautiful thing, as always. So we're coming to our conclusion. And like I said, we want to make sure that we do the things that we have control of. Those things are exercising and what we eat. That will contribute to us having good health. You can, you can locate and purchase the LW500 Latch Bar Exercise Equipment from my website, www.lw500products.net. Our products are on Facebook, Instagram, Walmart, Sam's Court, Sam Court, however you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. I'm a new customer. But in any event, do what you have to do because exercising is extremely important. We want to get in shape and we want to help you get in shape also. So you can log on to my, my channel on YouTube 
Type in the search field, LW500 products. L I'm sorry. <laughs> Type in the search field, LW500 latch bar exercise system. And you will get my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you will get all of my workouts. There's over 75, maybe more than 100 at this point. Log on. I urge you. Let's stop being a couch potato and get up and do something about yourself. Have a great day and thank you very much.